Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy Case 42, Lashing Out. Let's unlock Chapter 3, and Lucius is confessing for the murder. Mitch Katria, I have something I need to tell you. It was me, I murdered Professor Charles. What? You killed Professor Charles? You need to tell us everything, Mr. Roth. We'll see if he's the killer or not, or if he's just protecting somebody. Let's listen to his confession. Mitch Katrina, I... I can't do this anymore. I thought I'd be able to cope with the pressure, but I gotta confess. It was me. I killed Professor Charles. You murdered Professor Charles? So you admit to being an Adastran, asking on Rosetta's orders? What? No, I did it because he threatened my academic future. I overheard you telling the dean that my thesis on torture was against university guidelines. I couldn't let him ruin my research. So I ambushed him in his office and dragged him kicking and screaming to the forest. I tied him up, checked the dots were secure, and then I whipped him over and over again until he stopped moving. You said the professor put up a fight? That's... Strange, since Forensic told us he was knocked out with chloroform prior to the murder. Of course, I I knocked him out with the chloroform first, just like you said. It's just too traumatic to remember. Alright, Mr. Rock, Mitch could then I'll make sure your statement checks out. You'll be kept in custody until the case is closed. Okay, just so how to tie dots. Katrina, I don't know what to make of this. Lucius claims to have killed Professor Charles. But something about his confession just doesn't check out. Like the fact that he supposedly forgot that the professor was knocked out with chloroform. He also denied committing the murder on behalf of Ad Astra. What if this is all just a trick? Some kind of reverse psychology. You're right, Katria. The facts will speak for themselves. Let's return to Ad Astra's hideout to look for more clues. Yeah, maybe he's protecting somebody. Okay, we are going back to the cave. Okay, I don't know why is it loading so slowly. Activity tracker belongs to Ace. He's probably the brightest spark losing his belongings in an Astra's hideout. Sorry, Katria, there's no time to clown around. Let's unlock Aesop's grid fit. And look, that letter is for the Grisbury State Penitentiary. Oh. We know that Rosetta has managed to communicate with an Astra from prison before. Could this letter be from her? I agree, Katria, we need to vacuum off some of that pink powder to find out. Yeah. Who received this letter? All right, let's let's first unlock the script fit. Okay, it's open. Good yeah, you got Aesop's great fate unlocked. Catherine will be able to tell us if our hot place at Astro Pepper has anything to hide. Let's send it to her. Okay. Okay, that's gonna take nine hours. Okay, now let's now let's see what's this letter about. Well, let's vacuum up the powder. I've chosen you as a leader of the new generation of Adastra. Do be proud, Rosetta. 
Now you actually have the pattern we can see what that letter from the princess says, Katria. It reads, I chose you as the leader of the new generation of Ad Astra. Do be proud. It's signed by Rosetta. So Rosetta sent this letter appointing someone as the leader of the new generation of Ad Astra. But it doesn't say who it was addressed to. If we had to figure out who this letter was meant for, we need to put that powder under the microscope, Katia. Okay, so there is a leader. Let's analyze this pink powder. Let's see. Who is the leader of Adastra? Oh, there's another one. I thought it was two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Solid shampoo. Katia, this body clip from Rosetta's letter is a solid shampoo called Head in the Wind. Apparently, it's a woman's shampoo for freshly shaved hair. Oh, it's Dorothy. Katria, you're right. We only have one female assassin with a shaved head, and that's Dorothy Kicks. So, this means Rosetta's letter was for her. Dorothy is an Astra's leader. You're right, Kataria. We need to speak to her at once. Yeah, you are the leader. I knew she was a bit suspicious. Okay, let's interrogate Dorothy. Miss Kings, we found Rosetta's letter appointed you as the leader of the new generation of Ad Astra. What does Rosetta mean by do be proud? Alright, bitch Katria. I won't deny it anymore. I'm Adastra's leader and we are in touch with Rosetta. But you're wrong about us. Adastra is just a bunch of friends who want to inspire each other to do great things. No, you're not. Great things, like taking care of Professor Charles. Spill it, Miss Kicks. As leader of the group, were you the one to kill the professor? Is that why you were recording him in his office? Of course not. I already told you, I left that device behind by accident. I meant to go back and get it, but Courtney invited me for ramen and I forgot all about it. Besides, I will never kill anyone, Mitch Katria. I have a bright academic future ahead of me, I can't jeopardize that. Yeah, I, I think she's... Well, she's not going to be suspicious. Oh, it could be Courtney. Let's check out a Zip's grid fit. Kathy, did you find anything of interest on Aesop's grid fit? You bet I did, Katrina. You see, these grid fits don't just record how many steps you do, or what your heart rate is. They are also fitted with a geolocation -loc tracker. And I can tell you that Aesop was at the forest where the murder took place. Oh! He ran back to the concert just before it finished, and just before you arrived, Katrina. I knew it. The festival was just a cheap alibi for Aesip, but he won't slip through our fingers this time. Yeah. All right, let's let's have a chat with Aesip. Mess of battle. Mage Katria found your grid fit. We know you were in the forest where Professor Charles was murdered. I can explain, Mitch Katrina. I was feeling down after everything that happened at the Halloween party, and then I heard that the Grisworld Quals had lost, and it was the final straw. I made a bowl of fist and ram to cheer myself up, but it didn't work, so I went for a walk in the forest to clear my head. Do you really expect us to believe that, Mr. Pattle? I advocate you went to the forest to tie up and murder Professor Charles. Tying knots is one thing. I learned how to do that in the Grisworld Scouts. But I passed out cold at the sight of blood, Mitch Katria. I couldn't kill anyone. In fact, I started feeling better after my walk, so I went to catch the end of the concert. And that's why you turned up. That's a flimsy explanation of Basper's power. You better hope we don't find any evidence to the contrary. Yeah, I saw how I feeling it's him. Katria, this investigation is getting more complicated by the minute. We know that one of the Adastras whipped Professor Charles to death to Rosetta's orders. Until now, we'd only identified two members, 
called Gera and Ace Battle. But now we learn that Dorothy Kicks is part of Adastra too. And she's not just a simple member, so that left her in charge. And then there's Lucius who came to confess to the murder. But his confession doesn't seem to hold water. You're right, we need more clues if we are to solve this Tria. Let's return to the scene of the crime. Yeah, let's go. Your confession doesn't add up and you're not so suspicious, so... Alright, let's investigate the forest again. Nice, no, I have a feeling it's Aesip who killed. It's a rope. Must be the one you used to tie Professor's hands. Good yeah, the rope spool has blood stains on it. This must be the rope that was used in the murder. With any luck, letting us up of those fibers stuck in the blood stains will give us a clue as to our hero's identity. Now, if you think that broken ball might be a lead, then you better put it back together. Okay. Good yeah, we reach close and it goes to catch Professor Charles' killer. I can feel it. Let's get to work. Okay. Alright, first let's collect these fibers from the rope spool. Let's get those bloody fibers to collect from the rope spool to the lab, Katria. Alright. That's gonna take 9 hours. And now let's restore this bottle. Wait, is that a... Yeah, it's a chlorophyll bottle used to knock Professor out. Just what we need. According to the label, this bottle contained chloroform Katia. This wasn't what our hero used to knock Professor Charles out before the murder. We better get this bottle to Amir ASAP. Okay. Let's first check out these fibers. Why did you find those body fibers that Katria collected from that rose pool, Amir? I'll cut to the case, Katria. The blood of those fibers belong to your victim. The kill of us to touch the rogues full with their bloody hands, leaving those fibers behind. But that's not all, those fibers are made from cotton jersey, a fabric commonly used in clothing. And after removing all the blood, I can tell you that the fibers were light blue. You were it was a very light blue, so it must be a killer who is sporting the shade, Katria. Knew it. So, our killer is very light blue, are they? I'll soon be swapping it for an orange jumpsuit, Katria. Yeah, you always say that when we get a uh, clothing analysis. Okay, so it's not Courtney, so it's either Polly or Asip. Okay, let's check out this chloroform. Amir, we're on the home stretch. Tell us you got something on the close chloroform bottle. Unfortunately, the bottle had been exposed to the elements, which damaged a small trace of DNA that I found. However, I eventually managed to isolate the chromosomes. And I can tell you that your kill has two X chromosomes. Katria, you're looking for a woman. So, we're looking for a female killer. That means Lucia's confession was bogus. Let's bring the real cover to justice, Katria. Yeah, it's not Lucius. This is it, Katria. It's time to discover which and ask to kill Professor Charles. Let's do this. But it's not Aesip. It's not one of the Adastras we know. It's not Courtney. It's not... Uh, it's not ASIP. Yeah, Quartet doesn't wear anything blue. 
So that means it's somebody we haven't discovered that he is, or she is, an Astran. Nope, I'm going to do it immediately. So it was Polly. So you pretended that you don't know about an Astra, but you are actually in an Astra. You never told us that. Miss O'Brien, you're under arrest for the murder of Professor Charles. Me? You got it all wrong, Major Katria. I didn't even really know the professor. The rope you claim to have bought for a craft project turned up on the crime scene. You used it and you're not making skills to tie the professor to the trees. I told you the rope went missing days ago. I had nothing to do with the murder. You're lying. What about the whip we found in the cave? We know you touched it. You let traces of your instant ramen on it. I could've whipped someone to death, Major Katria. I didn't even work out. Give it up, Miss O'Brien. We found your DNA on the bottle of chloroform used in the murder. We know you're part of it, that's try and that you killed Professor Charles and Rosetta's orders. Okay, fine. I admit everything. I killed Professor exactly like you said. I ambushed him in his office with chloroform, dragged him unconscious to the forest and whipped him to death. And how exactly did you manage to drag his unconscious body to the forest when you just told us you don't even work out? She must have had an accomplice. I see you fell for my innocent act, Mitch Ktria. A common mistake most people make. Just be careful not to underestimate me. Look what happened to my boyfriend. He annoyed me, and oops, now he's dead. And what about the professor? What exactly did he do to annoy Rosetta? Who knows, she probably just had some old grudge against him. It's none of my concern. So you killed somebody in cold blood? All I know is that when she tasked Aster with this mission, I was certain that I was the best person to pull it off. And what about Lucius? Did he make a false confession because he's an at Astra too? Lucius? He was probably just conducting one of his experiments on you. I bet he doesn't even know it was me who killed the professor. Admit it, Major Katrina. You didn't expect it to be me either, did you? I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to be. But you were seeming very suspicious now in this case. You seem almost proud of your despicable actions. Well, the most stressful part is over now that you caught me. So I might as well reveal in all the intention this is going to bring me. Suit yourself, Mr. Bright. You're under arrest for the murder of Professor Charles. Wow, she's so proud of murder. Wow. Miss O'Brien, you stand accused of murdering Professor Charles. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. Professor Charles was once an inspiration, but he'd outlived his usefulness. It says here that you committed the murder of Rosetta Pierre's orders. I have to say, I'm astounded by your blind obedience to her. I don't expect you to understand, so just get on with it. What's my sentence? Very well, Mr. Ryan. For the murder of Professor Charles, it's called her by sentencing you to 35 years in prison. You seem more bothered about this than I am, Your Honor. Really? I'm not upset in the slightest. Yeah, that's, that is so a behavior like she's on protozane. But she isn't. I tell you, put Professor Charles' kill behind bars. But the more I think about it, the less things seem to add up. All the evidence points to Polly, but her behavior during her arrest and trial was unusual to say the least. And what about Lucius' confession? It was clearly fake, but was it his own idea? Or was he Polly's accomplice? Well, I think she had to have an accomplice. We all got into the bottom of this, Katria. We need to keep digging. Yes, if she, she couldn't have dragged the uh, Professor out to the forest by herself. Somebody helped to help her, so that's gotta be Lucius. That must be why he confessed. Alright, we gotta start here. We gotta continue playing in original sin number six. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!